Hello and welcome to Flash News with Bobby Fazio. Today's Monday, October 25th, 2021. And we're probably going to have like somewhat of a shorter episode today because there really wasn't that much racing going on this weekend. We had, as far as I know, one divisional, Division 2, Rockingham, North Carolina. So usually I'm saying, ah, oh, jam-packed weekend, I got like 10 races to cover and, you know. No, it was a little bit easier for me today. So, good, because I could use the break. So, Flash News, I'm Bobby Fazio. This is all brought to you by Class Racing Today podcast. Uh, hit us up at classracingtoday@gmail.com. Um, social media is Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all at Class Racing Today. Like and subscribe. If you want a t-shirt, hit us up, classracingtoday@gmail.com. All right, I know many people want free t-shirts and stickers. However, I can't afford to do that. Uh, you buying t-shirts and stickers is what helps sponsor this podcast in in your own uh, way. You know, a little bit of uh, generosity goes a long way here because this uh, does cost money. So by supporting or by purchasing t-shirts and stickers, you are supporting the podcast. So thank you very much. Um, let's see. Today's episode is brought to you by, as always, Drag Insights. Go to app.draginsights.com. And we will use Drag Insights again today to look somebody up, uh, just to give you a little taste of what the app is. So you can research yourself, research your opponents, just type in the driver's name or their number or their class, and uh, you can come up with a whole bunch of uh, good stuff when you are getting ready for your next round or even a weekend. If you want to look at it before you head out somewhere to see who's going to be there. So check it out, app.draginsights.com. Uh, also brought to you by Gutters by Design. Tim Stickles, Gutters by Design. Seamless Gutters, give them a call, 603-953-4640. Or go on Facebook and look up Gutters by Design New Hampshire and like the guy's page. All right, let's support the uh, let's support the people here that are... Uh, are uh, one of our own, you know, he's a racer and he's supporting this podcast and we appreciate it. And he's just an all around good guy. He and his dad, Pete. So give him a like on Facebook gutters by design. Give him a call. If you're up in that new England area and you actually need some gutters, tell him you're a racer. Maybe I'll give you the racer discount. Also for anybody who wants to sponsor the podcast, I'll put your name right there, right here on my TV. Okay. That could be you. All right. And I will say your name proudly. And you'll have my beautiful face right next to your logo. Doesn't get much better than that. I don't even charge a whole lot. So if you are interested in something like that, hit me up at today at gmail.com. Or uh, give me a call, 610-996-8784, or shoot me a text. All right, you can be there. Okay, let's get into it. So we were at The Rock. Rockingham Dragway, North Carolina. And it was a Division Two event for the first two days, Friday and Saturday. And then there was a National Open, 8th Mile, uh, that happened yesterday, Sunday. So in the actual Divisional, number one qualifier, Jimmy Hidalgo, uh, Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. in stock. The one that they call the Country Puppy. If anybody knows why there's a Country Puppy and a Country Dog, or Jimmy if you're watching this, can somebody just comment and... And, and let me know that. Also, I think Jimmy Hidalgo goes by Cooter Hidalgo. So we got Country Puppy, we got Cooter, we got last name Hidalgo. E Stock Automatic, 2004 GTO. Goes 110 under. He really wanted that number one spot. Uh, 1059 8 on 1170 index in E Stock Automatic. So congrats on uh, number one qualifier, Jimmy Jr. Super Stock, Ricky Decker, Super Stock I Automatic. He was just on the podcast recently. Uh, he runs. Uh, he has a 94 Camaro. He runs 963.5 on a 1070 index, so he was 106.5 under the index. Congratulations, Ricky Decker, and he's up there in the points, too. So in the Eliminator, Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. took that number one spot, parlayed it into a win. Congratulations, Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. Stock Eliminator, E-Stock Automatic, 2004 GTO. He goes head-to-head -head with Matt Lisa, who's been tearing it up this year. Uh, Jimmy Hidalgo, let's see, dials a 1080, cuts an 016 light, runs a 1095 with a 4 at 111. So he was definitely out of it. Matt Lisa has a D-Stock Automatic, 68 Camaro. Uh, 
driven by his father Joe for many years, but Matt's really been driving well in this car. Uh, D stock automatic, 68 Camaro dials, 1060 runs a 1083.7. He's 042 on the tree, which is kind of unlike Matt Lisa. He's like usually, I don't know, a, a 20 is a bad light for this kid at this point. But I did see video of this run. It, it looked like he didn't get off the starting line all that great. I could be wrong. Maybe somebody can comment and let me know. Both drivers are out of it. Uh, both of them were not near their dial. So Matt Lisa could have had traction issues, which I also heard were a, uh, I don't know, were, were they an issue or not? Um, somebody let me know. All right. So that was it for stock. Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. got that win in the GTO. Then he pulls around in his super stock, 1999 Firebird Super Stock G Automatic. And goes head to head with Jim Reynolds in a super stock B modified 57 Chevy Bel Air. And that's got to be a pretty cool looking car. Uh, probably has a nice big hood scoop on it. Um, anyways, Hidalgo Jr. Now this is still still the sun. Uh, dials 969, puts, uh, cuts an 040 light, goes 972 with a 7. And Jim Reynolds dials a 908 in super stock B modified. Cuts an 073 light. He's a little late off the line. Runs 9093. Uh, pretty close to the dial, but just giving Hidalgo way too much room down there. You can't do that against him. Uh, so congratulations, Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. gets the double up. Let's see if we can get another picture of him up here. I, I actually have two of them because I think this could be his son or just one happy fan. Uh, congratulations, Jimmy Hidalgo. He's got the two Wallies in his hand. He's got thank yous on his car. And uh, he's really finishing strong this year. Uh, this guy, I mean, he never goes a year without winning a race, and I felt like it had been a while since he won. He he took a national event recently, and he immediately follows that up with a double in a uh, Division Two event. And there was a pretty hefty car count, too. It wasn't a weak car count down here. Uh, this guy did it, and he's driving well. His lights were killer, and uh, I mean, what do you expect? This is Jimmy Hidalgo, uh, both father and son. Not only do they drive well, their cars are fast, too. So, uh, qualified number one, got the win. Also worth uh, mentioning that Matt Lisa, before that final round, he had a heads up uh, two rounds prior against Kevin Locklear. Uh, so, Matt Lisa turned it up too. And he went 1027 under to get that win. And, uh, yep. So, I don't know what happened in that final. Somebody can comment there. While we are here on the subject of Jimmy Hidalgo, I did say we would look somebody up on Drag Insights. And who better to look up right now? Than Jimmy Hidalgo. So let me go to app.draginsights.com. I will go to driver, start typing in Hidalgo. It immediately pops up Jimmy Hidalgo and Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. I gotta hit Jr. on this one. Wow, he gets out a lot. 324 total rounds. 223 rounds won. And uh, win percentage 68.83% win percentage. Let's see here. And super stock. He's got a 67.65 win percentage in super stock. And an 027 average reaction time. And let's see. Average qualifying position is 24. Stock eliminator. Let's just run through a couple things. Well, he's actually got a better average reaction time in stock eliminator. Leaving off a foot break. Uh, 026 there. And he's got a 70% win percentage in stock eliminator so i guess it's safe to say he's a little bit more dangerous in stock eliminator so app.draginsights.com check it out look up whoever you want um all right there was also a national open at rockingham and i think all national opens down south are eighth mile i was told that once i don't know if that's true or not so if i'm wrong in saying that somebody correct me uh joey warren Qualified number one in stock and super stock. So in stock, a K-Stock Automatic 88 Camaro, and this was eighth mile. And in super stock, a 98 Firebird Super Stock H Automatic. I don't have many times, but I do know uh, that Dennis Pope in a G-Stock Automatic 85 Camaro got the win over Chip the Legend Johnson, from what I read. And in super stock, Tim Sloan, super stock C-Stock. Uh, 98 Grand Am got the win over Jake Seeley. 
Uh, Jake Steely has a Cobra Jet Mustang of some kind. I think it's naturally aspirated. I don't think it's a uh, supercharged car. Uh, also, down in the rock, um, Jim Marshall. He set a record. Let's get his picture up here. Jim Marshall in a J-Stock Automatic 78 Camaro. He goes 1140 with a 5 at 114 miles an hour. Uh, not so favorable conditions from what I heard. And this is a backup car because he usually has a, what, a 75-ish uh, or 76 uh, Nova that he runs in like H-Stock Automatic. So he got, gets this car out and sets a record with it in J-Stock Automatic. 1140 with a 5. Uh, what is the index in J? Is that 1245, I think? Let me check real quick. J stock automatic. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, 1245. All right, so 1245 index. He goes 1140 with a 5, so he's 1045 under. Congratulations, Jim Marshall. I wonder how fast you would go if you set the record in your other car. Uh, but I think you have to be careful when you set... Well, no, 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 this was a, a national open, I guess, if he set it on Sunday. I don't know. Jim, if you're out there, you can comment on this. But it's, like, dangerous to set a record at a divisional, right? Because you can get hit with horsepower uh, if you do that. If you go 120-something under, setting a record, correct me if I'm wrong, but you get hit with horsepower. So, obviously, better to go to a national open, go as fast as you want, set the record, and no penalty at all. If I'm right in saying that, somebody give me a thumbs up on there. If I'm wrong, correct me, please. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Let's go over the points because, man, they're just changing every every couple days. So now top five nationally in stock. Joe Santangelo, he's still number one. He's allowed one more national, one more divisional. Jerry Emmons, number two. Two more nationals, one more divisional. Wes Neely, number three. He's pointed out. Uh, he's got 583 points. Uh, so 633 for Santangelo, 625 for Jerry Emmons, 583 for Wes Neely. Kyle Rizzoli, 548. He has two more nationals to claim and no more divisionals. And Matt Lisa has 546. And so Matt Lisa entered the top five now. He's got one more national and two more divisionals. Matt Lisa, let me know if you're going out to Vegas and take me with you. All right, super stock. Jeez, I have a friend here that just keeps calling me. I keep rejecting it, and he keeps calling me. So text me or leave me a message if there's an emergency, or call 911. Okay, Greg Stanfield's number one, 692 points, and four divisionals, seven nationals. So he's allowed two more nationals. No, 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 four nationals, seven divisionals. He's allowed two more nationals to claim one more divisional. He's got 692 points. Ricky Decker's number two, 633. Ricky's got no more nationals. He's got one more divisional. If you can find one somewhere, uh, if he goes out to Vegas. Santangelo, 603. He's got one more national, one more divisional. Anthony Bertozzi's number four at 590. He is all claimed out. And Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. is in the top five now in super stock. He's got 570 points. He's allowed two more nationals and two more divisionals. So let's see if he goes traveling to try and uh, win a national championship. Okay. Whew. I'm out of breath. Let's see. There's a couple things I wanted to cover here. Sometimes I get off my, my notes, and then after the episode's finished, I'm mad that I forgot to do something. Where are we headed this weekend? Oh, we have a national event in Las Vegas. Yes, I did want to come out there, but it doesn't look like I'm going to make it. Uh, October 29th to the 31st, so this weekend, the Dodge NHRA Nationals presented by Pennzoil in Las Vegas. Let's get a nice little uh, picture up here. I can, I can take Jim Marshall down now. Congratulations, Jim Marshall. And uh, let's get... Let's get Vegas up there. Here we go. It's four wide now. I haven't been there since it's been four wide. Last time I went was in 2017, and uh, I think it was still just two lanes back then. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully some decent weather. I know it's kind of windy at that track all the time. It's a higher elevation. Your car goes a little bit slower, but they usually get a pretty big turnout at these uh, events here. Uh, you're guaranteed entry if you're in a points hunt, so it takes the quotas up a little bit higher, which is nice to see. All right, so... Last but not least, oh, and good luck anybody going to Vegas. Last but not least, the contingency uh, corner, we'll call it. Okay, I just want to keep everybody updated on checks that I've been receiving and contact from people. So, as I said, got paid right away by Summit. VP Race Fuels, uh, then Jegs followed. Ford, I just got a check from Ford. I actually got two checks from Ford. I got one for winning class and one for winning the event. So, thank you very much, Ford. I just got Jessel. 
Thank you very much, Jessel. Jessel Rocker Arms. They were not posting for the belt drive, unfortunately for me. Um, but thank you regardless, Jessel, for supporting us the way you do. I've gotten W9 email requests from Edelbrock and Comp Cams, which is the same company, and Moser. So uh, I'll let you know uh, as more and more checks trickle in, we will, uh, you know, keep keep saying these companies' names. I appreciate them supporting us with this contingency program, and I uh, hope they stick with it. So thank you to all the manufacturers that support the Sportsman Racer. All right, that's it for today. Uh, my name is Bobby Fazio. This was Flash News, Monday, October 25th, 2021. Good luck to anybody that's heading to Las Vegas this weekend. If anybody wants to sponsor podcast, Flash News, or driver interviews, Hit us up, today at gmail.com, or call me, text me, 610-996-8784. All right, this has been your Flash News, and take care, everybody. Have a good week.